hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and this is a weekend webinar and in this webinar we are going to talk about Larna so you might have already heard about the monorepo which is nowadays a very popular term in terms of managing the different projects in a single repository so we will talk about what Larna is and what we are doing without Larna the typical current development approach what we are doing so Larna is a library that provides a tooling to manage a multiple repository structure inside a single repository by separating the subset of the repository into their sub repositories you can say you might have heard about JIT modules it's a modules where you can have a same repository and you can install git sub modules in a same repository so it is a kind of a multi repository structure it is providing currently when you are writing a full stack app you are uh, you are having a react repository backend repository backend multiple service repositories and all are in a dip different repository set so what larna is providing larna is a library it's just like npm package which you need to install npm install minus z larna and start using it so it, it is just a tool to manage a multiple repository structure inside a single repository. So your front-end app, your back-end app, your DevOps structure, your usable packages, your storybook content, everything can reside in a single repository. So it's kind of a, obviously a cool, right? Earlier we were not having this kind of thing. So from this image, what we are having mobile app shared code and web app all are having their node modules separate dependencies and separate repositories what we are doing now we are creating a monorepo which is a multi repository structure all all mobile app shared code web app is inside the same so your larna root will have a node modules and every project will have a node modules the only thing it is adding it is adding a lot of benefit on top of it the reusability of the packages uh, you don't need to worry about uh, even you can link the packages if like web app is using the shared code or shared TypeScript typings your mobile app is also using the same thing like mobile app is in react native TypeScript shared code is in the TypeScript typings web app is you are writing in the next JS so you can share the typings you can share the library you can share the packages a lot of things you can share across different projects okay so Larna is uh, popular and there are many other tools which are available same as Larna like Annex Monorepo which is also a popular tool and uh, the Yarn workspaces and similarly I explored recently Nest CLI also provides the multiple service structures we can have multiple services there now what we need to do to get started you can just get started you need to have a npm and node.js you can simply install Larna as a global module npm install minus z uh, learn so once you have this globally installed you can do Larna in it same as ESLint in it or any other global module we install that is available in the Node.js environment and you start using it using ESLint in it uh, Larna in it so what we will do is we first look for the, the Larna package we will just get it from the npm so there are other parallel uh, ecosystem also there because this is creating uh, the multiple it is managing the multiple repositories inside a scene so there are other tools are also available like bazel from the google larna is open source uh, tooling library that is only for javascript level packages because it is creating this package json and the packages and then inside packages you can create all the different packages so Larna focus on handling the monorepo management okay you can have your Next.js app you can have a react native app Next.js service Next.js server side rendered app all you can put inside the multiple packages which you are going to install in the Larna so meanwhile this Larna will take time in installation we can talk about uh, two different modes so once we do npm install minus the Larna Larna in it it is going to create some configuration like same as the another CLI tools angular CLI next CLI next CLI we will be able to run the these commands okay so let's wait for this execution so 
so learn a init it will just ask uh, it will just create some files for us those files are plain and simple learn about json package json and you can see there is a packages folder so this packages folder is something where you will start adding your packages inside it and Larna will manage it so the advantage major advantage of it, using it is let's say you wanted to install a same dependency across all the all the projects you can do it with the Larna Larna provides a full set of commands and even while initializing the the Larna setup you will get the different mode like independent mode and fixed mode independent mode where each version of the package is separate and allow developer to choose between choose versions to release while publishing to enable this mode you can just while doing a Larna in it you can specify uh, you wanted to create a Larna setup using independent or the fixed mode okay what I'm doing here is I have packages I wanted to bootstrap one node app inside the packages another is a create react app a typescript app so we can see how we can execute the same commands in both the, the projects so we have a Larna bootstrap command Larna npm run Larna clean command Larna bootstrap command which actually going to initialize the node modules in all the sub packages so here one is the node app which is express generated app another is a react app with a typescript template so here we are using typescript so you may need npm run build command npm run test command and Larna provides you a centralized uh, place to run all these npm scripts okay so when I, when I started playing with Larna I realized to have I realized it's noisy uh, that you have to uh, publish some fake packages to an npm and have a git repository on github and all these things now with the Larna you don't need to do all these things it is managing all your packages together so there are many ways to do the setup here we are doing mono repo and there is a package json and then there is a packages inside packages you can create n number of random packages like utilities common shared storybook uh, your backend service your front-end components your front-end app all these things you can create and also the important part is you can create a links okay so when i say sim links means your one package can be dependent on another package and you can internally define the linking you can just add the module add uh, one module into another module so that is the major advantage of uh, doing it so let's say this node api here we can see the package.json which contains okay body parser cookie parser and basic node.js setup nothing much and if you look into the uber eats i mean this is still taking time okay looks like now this is ready we have a node app we have uber eats and uh, both applications are ready so now how we can use larna to in these both the packages we can run different different commands like npm run bootstrap it is going to call larna bootstrap this command we are executing at the root level it is going to look into the packages okay we have two packages and it is going to do npm install there we can add a couple of more commands like start clean build test test ci test coverage and all these commands because these commands can be executed from the root in all the packages all the sub packages so i'm doing an larna run start so what it will do is it will execute the start command start script command in both the packages node api and uber eats npm run start it will just do a larna run start uh, larna run start so start is a command and it will look for the start script in both the packages and it will execute it so similarly we can also add a npm run build so it is going to execute this build command in both the packages i think we have the build command in uh, just react project that script build and it will execute it in that package it is executing in the, both the packages then it will look into which uh, package has this build script available and it will execute that so we can also look into all the other commands like Larna bootstrap Larna 
clean Lana create and package name so what it will do it will like let's say I wanted to create a new sub package I can just do Lana create package name it will create a package name with a basic boilerplate code you can see it contains the tests package.json and all similarly there are, there is a big list of command Lana init Lana link Lana add so there are two commands Lana add and Lana create Lana create to create a brand new sub package Lana add to add the create the sim link of one package into another package so there are many many ways let let's say I'm putting some common util utility uh, inside this common sub package and these names inside package JSON is the package name and I'm writing one utility to let's say string reverse or some calculating the factorial and I wanted to use that uh, library or utility in anywhere else like let's say in the node app I wanted to use it so those kind of things we can do we can create a sim link we can add one package as a dependency in another package because the code is shared this is in one monorepo and we can share the code from one repository to another repository okay so here you can see I'm adding there are other commands also learn add mocha what it will do is it will add this npm module to all the packages so if this is an external npm module it will add it to everywhere otherwise there is another command lana add common and you can specify the scope okay in which in what all modules you wanted to add that dependency it will just add that dependency to that module let's say i'm writing one utility and we will use that in the node api so let's say here I'm writing a simple script, simple code, module.exports common, and this common is function we are trying to use in the Node API. This can be anything. This can be any big library or package you have built, exported all the typings and all. Here it is just doing a string dot split dot reverse dot join, uh, reversing a string, and I will be using this in the Node API. So this is the command Lana add common common is the package and we can specify the scope scope equal to node API so the source is the common target is the node API and it will add the common package dependency in the node API so if you look into the package.json there this is the version of common one and if you look into node API this package has been added and it, it has been added in the package JSON as a dev dependency you can add this as a dev dependency or dependency or the peer dependency you just need to pass the flag in the same command now we can just require this package and we can just simply do console.log to play around okay how this uh, really works and we will just start the, the server or node app.js you can see here this common.js has been added and this library is, is exporting libcommon.js so we can require this package as like uh, const common equal to require common inside our app.js we can write and you can see I am doing console.log for the output of the string string reverse is the utility I am using in the node uh, app so this is overall uh, this is how it is working so this is the first part of it like how to manage the, the multiple repositories how to run all these different commands uh, from the monorepo and this, this is how we can create a sim link like using the common utilities inside a node api or the react app this is how you can add the add it as a dev dependency just need to pass the flag dash dash dev or dash dash peer to add that dependency as a peer dependency so this is all in the second part we are going to take a look on to more examples